Hello people, Carlito here once again, this time with a rather longer video than normal. I'm going to give you a video that's going to show some of my attacks in the morning. As you can see, I've just got back from um, from sleeping, so I'm rearming my traps, and um, there's going to be a couple of attacks against me, I think, um, over the past eight hours. So I was basically attacked twice not long after I logged off. Um, and I'll also show you some of my attacks from the morning as well. Um, I've made sure to, to keep those on the server, so um, I'll show you those as well. Um, basically, one of the guys revenged me, so um, it'll be interesting for you guys to see what I did to him um, and, and why he revenged. But here's one of my... I think it was the last attack I did before I went to bed. So... Um, I'm doing the voiceover after the the video, so bear with me because um, I'm trying to remember what I was doing. But with any balloon attack, in this case it's balloons, so balloons and minions. What I'm doing here is taking out the um, wizards where possible, and I'm trying to target the air defences. And I'll use rage because, as far as uh, it spells are concerned, now because they're based on elixir and not gold. Um, it's essentially free for me because I've got so much elixir and um, I'll start the day with 8 million and I'll end the day with 8 million. Uh, elixir is so easy for me to get these days and I've got nothing to spend it on other than my army's you know, build and also spells of course. So as you can see I've more or less decimated the base, there's still an air defence down in the bottom left corner but as far as the gold goes and the dark elixir um, I'm probably going to get all of those, um, all of those resources. So now it's just a case of clean up. Um, I've got a couple of balloons left. I'm going to try and get in there with the minions before um, the balloons are taken out, just to distract that air defence. And I, I didn't quite do it, but I've got enough minions to take that out. It's now gone. Um, and now it's just a case of running the clock down. So I'll speed things up. Nothing interesting happens. Everything's been deployed on the field. And um, it's a case of hopefully getting that 100%. Um, interesting if you watch the Queen, she decided to go inside the walls rather than outside of the walls to shoot stuff. Um, she's really gone a lot more stupid lately. I don't know whether that was intentional or whether they've changed something. Um, or maybe it's just me and I think she's different but she's actually the same, I'm not sure. But I certainly think that she's got a lot more stupid. So here is um, an attack against a Mup. Now a Mup revenged me, so watch what I've done to him to see if you think I deserved his revenge. Um, I'm not really interested in three star on the base, I just want the gold. So I've only deployed a few of my balloons, and what that means is that I can have multiple balloon attacks. Because for a base like this, where most of the gold is in the storages, I'm sorry, in the mines, it's actually not really worth it to um, to take out the entire base. Um, I'm not interested in 200 dark elixir, and I am not interested in the, in the normal elixir at all. So, I'm just going to take the gold. There's actually 30,000, give or take, left in the storages, so I'll take some of that as well. Now, here's where I get a little bit naughty, <laughs> if I'm being honest. There's no need for me to, you know, start punking this king, but I don't know, I think I got bored. So um, I've got one minion throwing, I don't know what they are, spitballs on the back of his head. And um, I keep luring him to the corners with my archers. And uh, I do that a couple of times. Yeah, I was bored. Um, so now the king's dead. And there was no real need for me to do that um, so yeah maybe I uh, maybe I did deserve the revenge from this guy so that was the attack here is the defense um, as you can see he's the top defense so let's see what he did he got to my dark elixir can you guess how he did it it's not that difficult to guess is it to be fair so here you go he is starting off with the town hall um, I think he's deciding that 
it might be more difficult than he initially anticipated. So he sent in his giants, followed by healer. Um, and now his archers are going to be able to target that town hall without too much problem. To, to be fair, they could have done that anyway. Um, where they are right now is just, well not now, but at the very beginning where he placed them, they're out the range of the mortar. So he didn't need the giants, that was a bit of a waste. Um, he didn't manage to kill the town hall with his archers, so he's needed to use a lightning spell. Which um, which is good actually, because what it's meant is he's got one less lightning spell to drop in my dark elixir. Because as you can see, he's now spent most of his army. And uh, if, you, if you got good eyesight, you would have noticed that at the start of the video, he actually does get a couple of hundred dark elixir. And he's got no way to get in the base now other than spells. Um, he's completely messed the attack up, to be fair. Those um, elixirs, storages, aren't very well protected. I mean, yeah, you're going to lose some troops because I'm, I'm just punking people who try and take that for free. But in general, he has not come out good in this attack, in this encounter, shall we say, because I've taken... 200,000 odd gold from him um, and he has taken 1,000 from me and 40,000 uh, elixir and his army's probably cost more than 40,000 elixir so 10 seconds left I'm going to zoom into the dark elixir because it's coming now that was weird because he didn't actually target the dark elixir he kind of put it in the middle so he was looking for some elixir as well but because of where he placed it he only actually got 4,000 um, so all in all, I don't really understand what the guy's strategy was, or that player could have been a girl. So um, so yeah, I think I deserved something. I, there was no need for me to mess around with this king, but uh, but whatever. Um, now as I said, I didn't use all of the balloons on the last attack, which meant that I've got more balloons for future attacks. Um, and this is the next one that I found. So uh, again, usual strategy: trying to target the air defences if possible get through to the wizard towers and the reason for that basically is that um, once the wizard towers have gone and if you've got the air defences removed minions become really effective um, assuming of course all of the uh, the air bombs have been taken out and the reason for that is archers aren't very effective against minions I mean yeah they can they can um, kill them individually but because archers tend to be spread around the base, archer towers tend to be spread around the base, minions in a, you know, if you mass deploy them, can do an awful lot of damage very quickly. Um, and they look up, they'll overrun archer towers quite simply. Now I've got a pecker. Um, I'm going to send the pecker in, and I'm going to keep on trying to pick off the gold storages, sorry, the gold mines, because that's where the gold is. It's not actually in the... Um, well, it's not all in the storages. There is enough in there though, however, so I'm going to try and crack into the middle and speed things up a little bit. Um, send some arches over here. So there's now no gold left. So actually, no, I made a mistake. There was all the golds in the store in the mines, not the storages at all. Um, so there you go. Two fairly decent balloon attacks, and I've now got no more balloons left, so the next attack uh, will be standard troops. However, this is a defence that's probably worth showing you guys. Um, it happened before Amup's attack. Um, so what that means is basically he didn't give me a shield. Um, so here you go. I've spring-trapped some of his giants. Um, he's got level 5 wallbangers and they get through to the second layer of walls. <coughs> Which is fair enough, I suppose, that I'm expecting people to do that. Um, you know, mid-level players, I'm expecting high-level players with high-level troops to get into the middle of the base. We all know that hogs do a lot of damage. So the giants aren't very effective against those level 10 walls. Um, he has, however, got a lot of archers. Some of them are on rage. And um, unfortunately, the mortar has been targeting the giants. Um, and I've just missed one shot in a whole group of them. Now I don't actually think he intended that. I think he just got lucky because the mortar was um, very close to taking out all of his archers. Just as it's done then. Um, 
so he did actually get to two storages but only managed to take partial amounts of gold from each so um, I didn't actually lose a storage but he did have access to both so that shows it's you know it's possible to crack into my base um, takes a lot of spells takes quite a lot of troops um, also got, he got a little bit lucky in um, the way the mortar fire missed a big group of archers but only just if it had hit them then um, he probably would have had half of that amount of gold but 40k out of all of the defences I've had as a loss is not bad at all um, to be honest so I appreciate I'm farming you know I'm only at 1700 cups just under 1800 cups um, what happened there guys is my screen recording software kind of froze uh, it happens a lot it often crashes so if the video jumps um, that'll be why and in fact because I know that I've recorded this and I'm doing the voiceover now and I've recorded the video before it's gonna jump again so, uh, so get ready for that uh, what I will tell you in the meantime though is that um, as it stands right now I'm only a couple of fights away from doing all of my level 10 walls so I'll do another video after this one which will be live and uh, that will show you my level 10 wall sorry my level 10 wall base yeah a bit confusing there with the level 10s and the level 10 walls um, so this is that chap who just attacked me and he got to the two storages now I'm trying to work out if I'm going to revenge him um, has he got enough gold he's got a fairly decent clan castle although we can take care of that but it's well located in the center so um, given my army I've got balloons there and minions because this is my first morning attack as you guys know uh, if you've been following the video for the past 12 minutes or so um, so yeah I'll be able to three star that base with this army very very easily but um, I don't think he is a available for attack I think he's offline so this is my defense log as you can see not very many people at all get much gold you know 1000 2000 that's the kind of average um, but he got 42 so he deserves an attack or revenge rather and he's got a shield so I probably won't be able to bring you that video right now um, I'll look for a fight no I won't <laughs> because the, the screen recording crashed again so um, as you can probably tell my gold has gone up and that is because although the screen recording crashed I was still actually searching for a fight and I did do the fight which is here um, you know these are the other fights that I've, I've shown you before Justin, I'm up, um, King Pinkle um, I don't think I've shown you Zero's attack wasn't that interesting really and, uh, and Potty 2016 so this is the attack that I would have shown you live if the video hadn't have crashed. As you can see, he's got air defences upgrading and I've got a balloon army, so this was a very tasty target indeed. Um, 274,000 gold, which is very decent, and uh, 2,000 dark elixir, which again is not to be sniffed at. Um, I don't mind using spells because they're based on elixir these days, so I'm, I'm raging into the centre which has meant that I'm taking out quite a lot of his defences um, I was hoping to also get some splash damage onto his queen um, but that didn't quite work although I've done some damage I didn't quite do enough to take out the queen so I'll need to do another balloon attack from the left hand side um, but before that what I'm going to do is lure the queen outside of the range of defences and then I'm going to kill her or at least knock her out so some archers, some minions um, and now I can release the rest of the balloons and I know that nothing is going to come out and, um, and impact the attack so again raged past the wizard tower, raged into the air defence um, there should be enough balloons there now to take out most of the defensive structures on the left hand side I've not quite managed to get to that last air defence it's partially damaged um, so now it's a case of cleaning up and getting as much of this gold as possible I typically carry 20 minions so I don't think there's very many air bombs 
left if any so I'll quite happily deploy these now um, I'm going to get rid of the ground troops so there's an air bomb just down there I don't know if you caught that one there just at the bottom of the screen release my clan castle the dragon should take out the bottom gold storage um, if not the minion will hopefully do that and fingers crossed the dragon will fly over to the right hand side of the base and um, take out the gold storage on that side which will leave me only really the top gold storage to take out um, hopefully those minions will creep down towards the left hand side of the base and take out that storage just next to the elixir it looks like the dragon's doing exactly what I wanted it to so hopefully it will turn to the left in a second and take out the gold storage we shall see um, now what you've noticed is probably that I've run out of ground troops and I wanted to wait until I deployed the queen because the king's going to come over and um, and attack the queen which is going to take some of her health and I'm probably not going to get to the dark elixir um, I could have done maybe but it was the way that I've deployed that, that that attack so it wasn't the best of attacks to be fair but it was decent enough um, and again it highlights you know how to maybe not do a balloon attack I um, I should have taken out the Queen in the beginning which would have taken out a lot more of this or would have let the balloons take out a lot more of the uh, the defensive structures just gonna check these guys out if I'm gonna accept them no so um so yeah what I'll do now um, it's been a fairly long video um, so hopefully you've kept up hopefully it's been interesting as I say I'll be doing another video shortly because I literally am about to do one more fight now and um, put in the hope oh, well maybe one maybe two put in the last wall so I've done those walls after this video was filmed because it's a couple of days old and um, and yeah what I'll do now is I'll tell you how I'm going to basically plan for my Town Hall 10 um, these are the attacks that I did uh, so you can get decent gold when you're using balloons it's quite easy to fight it just takes a bit, little bit of time and uh, and I'm now back on to my standard army plus peckers because I cook peckers straight after the balloons in the morning which um, it just means that I get a free pecker fight or free well not free but I don't really care about elixir so I see that as free um, in terms of time so I will do the um, the army camp I'll upgrade those as soon as I can really I will do the inferno tower um, so that's five million I'll do the expo as well which is three so that's eight million spent as soon as the town hall upgrades which is why I'm gonna keep raiding have eight million in the storages um, and maybe even start to save some up in the mines as well because that means I can get my cannon going um, I can get the archer tower upgraded and um, and keep those upgrades you know all the builders busy which is it's gonna be strange because I've had them all idle for so long as I've been doing the walls but now it's gonna be back to efficiency and uh, and we'll see how that gets on so I'll keep you posted as on my town hall 10 as I, as I make my way um, onto that journey and maybe the next update will bring us another town hall we shall see but until then Biden the king, Biden the queen, and look out for the next video.